In this demonstration, we're going to look at deploying and configuring the VMware VDP or VMware's Data Protection Virtual Appliance. It's a virtual machine that runs within my vCenter environment and allows me to back up my virtual machines to disk. And what we're going to do here is I've already downloaded the OVA file required for the deployment. So I've just come into my web client. It's going to right click at this point here and I'm going to deploy an OVF template. We'll just browse through here, find the file required, so it's an OVA and it is our vSphere data protection over here. We'll select over in here and then select next. Right, we'll just review everything. We're happy with how everything's uh, going here, so the next thing to do is select next, read through the license agreement and click accept. Then we'll select next and now what we'll do here is we'll, we'll give it a name. I'm just gonna call mine VDP. I'm just gonna stick it in the training data center and select next. And what I'm going to do is install it on this local disk, so that's all fine, and select next. Yep, we're going to stick it on VM network. It is our isolated network, it's the only network I've really got, so I'll just select next. And then what I need to do here is just fill out the IP settings. Right, so we've added in all the IP settings, so we'll select our next button. We throw a summary, and what I'm going to do is power it on after deployment, and select finish. So as we can see now, it's going away, it's actually deploying that virtual machine. This will take a little while for it to deploy it, it is a, quite a big virtual appliance. So what we'll do is rather than sit and watch it, we'll actually just pause the video at this point here and return back once the virtual machine has been deployed and has been powered on. Now the virtual machine is now being deployed, as we can see, it's now powered up and the next thing I need to do here is do exactly what it tells me to do on the screen is go to my web browser and open up this web page here. Now because this is the first boot, this will give me the initial configuration. Right, so here's my web browser, let's just uh, go to a console here and just open up the website that it's requested as part of the virtual appliance. Right, so we'll just hit enter here. Then takes me off the website, we click proceed and it's asking me to log in as root. Now on the VDP virtual uh, data appliance here, the VMware vSphere data protection appliance, the initial password as part of the appliance is change me. So we'll type in change me. Hit return here, then logs me in and brings me into a little config wizard. So what we'll do, read through the welcome screen, select next. Then what we'll do is just make sure that everything is correct. So which it is, right IP address, register some netmask, default gateway and so on, and select next. What we'll then do is select our time zone. So in my case I am Europe, and we'll scroll this down a little bit further, and London, and select next. Then what we'll do is we'll enter a valid password. So what I'll do here is stick in my password, it has to be nine characters. And then requires a, uh, a number in there as well. Then we just need to re-enter the password. And um, once we've got the password in, select next. Specify the virtual center name, which in my case is vc.vbry 21com Stick in my password, sorry, put the username in, not the AV center um, itself, so we'll put in root. Stick in the password, and then specify the virtual center host name. Specify the port number, specify the SSO host name, which is the same as my virtual center server because it is the virtual appliance I'm using. And then we'll just test that connection. It's come back, everything's completed successfully, so we'll click OK now. Select Next again. And then it's just telling us here that we'll have to do a system reboot, so we'll just select Finish here. Click OK. And we need to reboot our appliance, so I'll just close down this website. So close down the, uh, the appliance here, come to the appliance, right click in my vSphere client, click on power, and what we'll do here is we'll restart the guest. Say yes to this. This is now going to go away and restart the appliance, so all we'll do is we'll just open the console, and we'll just do, watch it reboot. Now this will take a little while, so what we'll do is we'll pause the video at this point here. 
So what we can see is part of this initial boot here, it's reinitializing the VDP appliance, the estimated time for this to complete is 5 minutes. So what we'll do is we'll pause the video again and return back once the initialization is complete. Right, so the next point is just starting the VDP appliance system and as we can see it's going to take about 10 minutes so we'll just wait for all this to complete and return back once it's complete. Right, the virtual machine is now booted so let's just verify that everything is up and running correctly. So what I'll do here is I'll just come into uh, my web browser. Within my web browser we'll just check make sure the services are running so we'll just come down to our website here. Log in and uh, we'll just make sure so I'll put in my new password. And this will just launch up the admin page for the VDP appliance. And what we can see, we can see all the services are running. Maintenance services should be stopped because I'm not doing any maintenance. And I'm hoping that my backup schedule will come up as running as well, which it is. Good. Have a look at the configuration. So we can change the config if required. We've also got our rollback button as well. So just so we can roll back the repository backups and we have the ability to do a, a in application upgrade as well. So the next thing to do is just make sure that the plugins have now been installed into our web client. So into our web client. And then all we'll do, just log in as root. Stick in our password, and what we're looking for here is we're looking for the plugins have been installed, and they have indeed been installed. So if I click on my vSphere data protection, all we'll do here is connect through to our virtual appliance, and as we can see, we now have the ability to do backups, restores, get reports, and mess about with configuration. So that is the deployment and configuration of my vSphere data protection. All in all, I know I paused the video quite a few times as we work through that. To deploy that virtual appliance took about 30 minutes. And that's the end of this demonstration. Thanks very much.